everybody and welcome to Make Your Mask Crafts and Design tutorial number two. Today we're going to be looking at how to make an NHS scrub bag using stenciling from items or materials that we have in the house. But before we go any further, first of all I'd like to say that I hope you're all well and remaining safe and I hope that you enjoyed our tutorial last week. And of course we'd like to welcome our lovely camera lady Debbie. Hello, Anna. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Looking forward to this. Good. Have a good week. Yes, yeah. such fun with the last week's one. Yeah. So, yes, let's okay. crack on. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. So, to start off with, I'm just going to go through the items that you will be needing to um, do a homemade stencil. So, start off with some uh, extra wallpaper, just, a, you know, end of row. I've used duct tape, masking tape, and double-sided tape. You can, of course, use cello tape. So just see how you get on. We have um, two pairs of scissors, which you can use if you don't have a craft knife or a Stanley knife, which is what I've used. Pencil, pencil sharpener, pen, ruler. We also have over here some foam, which I'm going to use to draw my design. These plastic file separators, but any firm fabric, uh, sorry, firm plastic will do. I've used a crafty mat, but again, you can use a thick piece of cardboard or um, a piece of wood, as long as you don't cut through to your table. A paint tray, some fabric to try your colours out on. Your fabric colours, and again, if you don't have these, we do sell them online. Some sponges, I use these normally for my wooden uh, blocks, but because we're doing a big piece of fabric today and using more paint, I've just taken a kitchen sponge and cut it into pieces. Some different types of string or ribbon, which you will need to use drawstring in your bag. And of course, your pillowcase. So the pillowcase um, is an easy way of making a scrub bag, because it's basically recommended size, which is 50 centimeters by 70. All I did after I'd washed it, so I pre-washed it with no softener because you don't want um, the fat in the softener to coat the fabric and prevent the dye from being absorbed better, is I cut up the side here. Okay, so you see it's quite a big gap. And then just folded it over to make the hem so you can put the string through, which you can see here. Okay, so just folded it over and then right at the end we did the string um, and put it in through. But first of all, to get started with, what you're going to need to do is decide, once you've done your pillowcase and that's all ready to go, what design you're going to do. So I decided to do a rainbow sun and put thank you on it. Here we go. So that's our lovely, bright and cheerful NHS scrub bag. So I decided with the thank you, it's quite straightforward. I used one of my file separators. I printed out the word thank you. I then popped that on top of there and cut it out. So, because I've done a smaller version for the purpose of this um, here we go. So again, I printed out the thank you and I've started cutting out. I actually traced it onto the file separator and it's quite straightforward. If you can cut your design out with scissors, then by all means do so. I've used a standing knife, sorry, craft knife, and I just want to say to be careful because obviously they're very, very sharp. So I've turned my ruler upside down and that gives me an edge to lean on and protects my fingers. I'm just going across the lines that way, horizontal, and then doing them vertically. Okay. So now you should just be able to pick it out. If not, you might need to cut, do a little bit more cutting there. There we go. And a bit more cutting there. And there you go. So you now have your stencil ready for your thank you. And I'm just going to go 
actually now before I do that let me just pick these up and I'll show you what I did with my main design okay so we're just going to go over here okay so this is my wallpaper and the reason I chose wallpaper is because obviously it's heavier than print paper and with stenciling you need to keep everything as flat as possible so that you don't get any leakage underneath the paper and also because I chose to do a big design to fit the whole of the pillowcase the wallpaper was really handy because I have quite a lot of it so on my design I've measured it out so this is 70 centimeters by 50 I use this piece of just kids foam to draw the outline of my um, center circle and then to do the rays or you know I literally just went like that the reason why I've colored these in is to show you that these are the bits that you're going to cut out okay then to get the swirly bit in the center Again, I took my plastic file separator and I literally just scribbled the line around that. And I've colored it in just to show you that those are the bits that I'm going to cut out. So to do this, it's actually easier to use scissors. Okay. So I won't cut the whole thing because I actually have one, which I did earlier. But it's just to show you, you just keep going round and round and round and round. And eventually what you will get is this stencil here okay so you can see it fits in quite nicely the edge along there uh, can adjust it slightly all right so again quite straightforward to do that you also see here that I've got these lines across now that's because I've chosen to do a rainbow stencil so this is violet, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So that's to remind me, once I've cut out, so once I cut this bit out, for example, you'll see that part of it comes under yellow, part of it comes under orange, and part of it comes under green. So that's just to help me. Um, and again, you can choose, you know, whichever way is easiest for you. So once you've um, obviously <laughs> laid down, sorry, I forgot to say, lay down your paper, you've drawn out your stencil, um, you do need to cut it out. So for the purposes of this little tutorial, I've done a much smaller version. Okay, so here we have it. And I've already cut out the main bits. I've left the circle because once I've printed on the fabric, the circle where these tips end will guide me to where I'm going to put the swirl in the middle. Okay. And also here I've done a thank you. And as you can see, this also fits into the top part of the pillowcase. All right. So it just helps drawing it out in the first instance. Um, so you know where everything fits and what colors and how you want it to look. So, we're now going to go back, I'm going to take a pause, and we'll come back in a minute when we've set it all up. Action. Okay, so what I've done now is, as you can see down here, I've put my tote bag, which in your case would be the pillowcase, really flat on the table, and really um, taped it down with duct tape and masking tape. So the other thing to remember is when you're doing something with two sides, like a pillowcase or cushion or bag, always remember to put paper inside to stop the dye from going through to the other side unless you want that to happen so now I'm going to take my stencil and just tape it in action okay so what I've done now if you want to have a look is I've taped down my stencil onto the fabric some of it is a little bit up like that but what I've done I've used the double-sided tape underneath but when you print um, you might have to hold it down a bit so I'm going to start off just to demonstrate and um, then we will put ourselves on pause until I've done it so the first color I'm going to start with actually I'll do one up here which is red orange and yellow 
I've got my sponges. I've taken my paints out already. Uh, where's red? There we go. So I'm just going to dab on some red and do it here. Okay, so as you see, go over the paper, that's fine. You might want to put a little bit more paint on, just see how it goes. So I've gone a little bit into the orange because I want a slight overlap. So here we go. Dab a bit of the orange there. Let's go right up to the edges, a little bit over there, get the yellow. Actually, this one goes into green as well, so that's quite good. And I'm going right up to the edge, just pressing it down like that. Oop, got a bit of yellow there, that's not too bad. Okay, so that basically is my first flame. So, we'll catch up with you in a minute. Go. Okay, so now we finished. Uh, I finished doing the stencil. Uh, you can see the paint and everything. So I'm now going to take it off. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the outline of the uh, sun. It's come out really, really well. And what I'm going to do um, next is I'm going to put that on, so we can do the swirl. See, it fits in nicely. And we're going to do that as well. Now, a tip that I forgot to mention is that you do need to let it dry quite a bit, uh, well not quite a bit, a few minutes, um, obviously there I didn't, um, but otherwise yeah, I'm ready to go with that. Action. Okay, so as you can see I've now put the stencil for the swirl um, in and I've added a little bit of sticky sided tape underneath because it's a bit delicate and also I've done the same up here for the thank you and put masking tape. So to start off with I'm going to do the dark blue, so I'll just do this one. And I've used my dabber because it's easier to do it this time with the dabber. And that's it. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, we've now finished our stencil and removed it. And you've got a really beautiful design there. To heat fix your fabric, because obviously with the dyes, cover it in a layer of greaseproof paper. Use an iron that's had no water in it, uh, preferably. Um, and then you just press your iron down for five seconds and lift it up. Press it down, lift it up. You keep doing this and for about two or three minutes. And then once you feel happy that, you know, all the paint and everything is dry, remove the greaseproof paper and iron direct. Again, lifting up and down as opposed to going like that. However, once you've washed it, and you can do it in a normal wash up 40 degrees plus, um, you could just iron it as normal, all right? The other thing I'd like to show you is this, which has come from the inside of the back. So you can see now why it's quite important to have a layer in there, unless you wanted it to go onto the other side. Yeah. Okay, so the only thing that you have left to do now, where your bag is concerned, is to make the tie. So basically I used uh, um, three lots of a meter and a half of string, and then one lot each of a metre and a half of these coloured ribbons. I then plaited it together, like that. Okay, and once I was happy, I tied a knot. Oh, I didn't tie the knot first. Well, yeah, I did actually. I <laughs> threaded it through and then re-tied the knot. Okay, so basically, once you've done that, your bag is ready to go to the uh, nhs to the Yay. NHS. yes and what i'll do is at the end of this video i'll put some contact details so that you know who to contact to find out where you can um, send your nhs scrub bag to your local council hospital okay so otherwise hope you enjoy this and see you next week bye bye all from debbie happy crafting bye Bye.